Hey folks, Engineer 775. I'm real excited to be here today with Abraham and his family. We're going to be putting up a new cool inverter. Yes, you've seen this. You're like, oh, it's just a Solar. No, it's not. It is the new 5K outdoor case. Really cool inverter. Elijah's helping us install it today. You know Abraham from our videos. He's pretty excited. You know, I'm pretty excited. He's going to actually have a solar on his undisclosed location before Johnny and I get ours put up on the wall. So I'm kind of jealous today. I'm, and, I'm prepared. Look at this. <laughs> this solar. Look, he's already run. Got my AC got his, in. He's, he's, AC out. He is really prepared for us to be here today. So he's done all the hard work. He's put solar up on the roof of his house. We'll show you that later. And um, we're about to put in a gutter and do what we normally do on a job. What cool thing about this is he was about to put a magnum inverter in. And uh, the magnum is a great workhorse, but it doesn't allow for the cool features that the Solark does. One thing, this is a lot more efficient than the magnum, and it also will allow them to offset their uh, cost. They can do a zero export on this using the CTs. You can't do that on a magnum. So I've been bugging Solark for four to five years to do this and they finally did it and this would replace the magnums the schneiders the outbacks in the three to five kilowatt range of inverter this thing is going to be awesome it's going to just serve this house fantastic and um hopefully be just a, a great a great uh, inverter for them so uh just another thing we got 5ks 8ks 12ks now and this has so many other cool features plus the just the efficiency um, just is way better than the transformer inverters. I'm not knocking the transformer style inverters because we know that they do things that some of the Solarks haven't been able to do in some, on some certain loads. But in terms of efficiency and the ability to offset your power usage, you can't beat the Solark with the CTs. So we're about to put up a 10 inch gutter here in his shop and we're gonna feed the house. We're gonna have a critical loads panel in the shop. And he's gonna, he was able to get these Trojan batteries. You can always change them out later if he wants to, but these were a really good deal. I think he worked, he worked for these batteries. And we were doing a swap out and they were, uh, the customer wanted lithium. And there's not a lot of hours on these batteries. So it's, it's, it's a great start, 48 volt set of uh, Trojan Solar AGMs. Uh, the other thing we're finding out, they used the same case. Thankfully, they didn't change the case. So our template fits the bottom of the inverter, and this just this just makes the install a little easier. So you can see all the knockouts on the bottom are identical to the 12K and the 8K, and that template is handy. If you need one of them, let me know. There I go, selling stuff. All right, so we're going to put the inverter up here. Um, we're going to get the scudder prepared to get these um, wires in and out and uh, just get to work. So stay tuned for the 5K. All right, the wiring trough is up. Wires are pulled through. Again, we use these templates. These save a lot of time. I got a buddy that laser cuts them. Buddy that laser cuts them for me. You just set it up there so you don't have to wrestle with the inverter. So you need to put the inverter on the wall. So nice little tracing transfer template. And then these high-speed Milwaukee hole saws are just awesome. I don't know how many holes I've done with this thing, but these are great for just um, burning those holes and not uh, having to do knockouts, and they're fast. So, anyway, here we go. Making progress. All right, we're ready to put the inverter on the wall. We use uh, the template again to get these things set up. Get the EMT and the set screw connectors set up here. Um, these were not insulated, so we do add some bushings and then the bracket you want to put the bracket up here the bracket comes with three holes but we got a nice plywood backing so we just run in some extra fasteners here and you can it's it's really supported by both the wiring trough and the bracket so but we like to hang it on the bracket to make sure it's not moving wiggling around at all put a little spacer here make sure that your your wiring trough isn't sagging with the weight of the inverter on it because it's hard to get those screws in the door and okay 5k is going on the wall get it abraham yeah. i'm supposed to be helping but i'm filming come over to your right 
Okay, let's open up this door. See what you knock out. There we go. She's home. Look at that. Very nice. Five K. I'm so glad they didn't change the case and everything. You've got a. Uh, yeah. You don't. You have pretty much all identical setup. The DC disconnect, solar, your uh, terminals for CTs and rapid shutdown. Your neutral ground bars and the breakers. Everything is the same. Awesome. Thanks, Solark. Yay! Yeah. Thanks, Solark. So, I've been talking to Tom, and there you go. There's the model. It's a Solark 5K 48 ST. Very good. Goodbye, Magnums. Sorry, Johnny Valentine. I know you're going to miss your Magnum. All right, the next step is we've uh, seriesed up the batteries for our 48 volt AGM battery bank, and we're wiring up the 12. 12K, I'm so used to saying 12K. The 5K, it looks the same. And uh, our solar is landed from the array Abraham put on his roof. We've got our grid, bi-directional grid connection, and we've got our load connection. Now, in the shed, we're gonna, we took the load to a power distribution block, and that is splitting between the little critical loads panel here in his shop to be able to run lights and tools and things, charge batteries and then the critical loads panel that is going back to his uh, back to his critical loads panel his house. We had a customer that we did a solar system for that had a ton of this number eight stranded wire for a heavy duty well pump. So uh, he gave it to Abraham, which was really awesome. So shout out to Mike Lawrence for that um, nice gift we're taking full advantage of it i think there's only like a couple feet left from that roll mike thank you sir and um abraham says thank you as well and we are uh, using every bit of it so we used it for solar we used it on the ac side we're wiring up the inverter with it so uh it's been great he's over there uh landing the solar on his side so we got this so we have a full he's got a He's got, uh, what has he got, 12, no, he's got eight, 16 panels on the roof now. They're 280 watt Q cells. Not exactly sure how what that works out to be, but um, he has a full MPPT channel left to put solar in, in some other locations on the property. You can put, wow, look at these flies. You can put, a, you can put 6,500 watts on the uh, MPPT, so this doesn't actually show that, but the manual does. Okay, anyway, um, we're getting it wired. We've got our grid, our load output, everything's landed. Just gonna do a little bit of ground. We need a, he's got a ground bar loaded in there. So we're close to turning it on and testing it. I just gotta get the battery home runs on battery temperature sensor, because it's a lead acid battery, we do use that. So we're good to go. Oh. Elijah's supposed to be helping me work. What he's doing, though, in the rain is catching uh, Abraham's ducks. So he's teaching how to catch ducks. So anyway, we're having fun here. Installing a 5K at Abraham's undisclosed homestead. Okay, get back to work. Hey, 500 watts on this day. On this rainy day, it's working. Good job, boss. We're running a heat gun. We're doing some uh, uh, testing. Abraham's taking care of his hair and beard, and uh, I think he's pretty happy. Oh, yeah. We've got um, solar, grid, battery, and we just turned um, just a, just our only load. We haven't tried any load testing in the house. Still have to hook up the CTs, but it's doing good. Well, um, it's just a not a good solar day to show off the 5K, but 500 watts is nothing to shake a stick at on a rainy day. How many watts you got up on the roof? 4480. 4480? 4,480 watts. You do? Yep. Okay. It's 280 times 16. Gotcha. All right. We'll be back. All right. We're having fun now. It's not a good solar day. Like I said, it's raining outside, but you can see the battery is only taking a little bit of power. The excess solar is going to help offset the load in the house where the traditional Magnum, Schneiders, Outbacks cannot do that. This is a hybrid inverter with CTs. 
and it can do that to help lower the power bill. Uh, I wish it was a real, it was supposed to be sunny today, but anyway, it would have really shown its stuff if it was sunny and it would have, the solar would match the load in the house or even more, whatever it would make, it would be sending it back. Uh, and not to the grid, we're not grid selling here, but it would zero out the load. So whatever you want to call it. Sometimes this is called zero S export or offsetting, but it's working. And the CTs, we just installed them. And uh, there's a cool software add-on. I know I've shown this before, but in um, in the basic mode of the inverter, there is an auto detect CTs, and it can that's the bottom box, and it'll learn learn the CT, so you don't have to figure out uh, the orientation of the CT wires. It automatically figures it out as long as you keep your pairs together, you're good. All right, well we have everything hooked to this inverter except for a generator. And uh, so it's up and running, looks nice. And we did a little test, we were not able, we had a baseline of about one kilowatt and we tried to run a 4,500 watt water heater. I think it'll do it, but we'll have to do that test. Couldn't do it with a baseline of about a kilowatt going. It, it gave me an AC overcurrent, but uh, that's an ugly load, electric water heater. But we're gonna, Abraham will test that another day. All right, that's pretty good for really a half a day's work. We've been piddling and testing. And, and uh, so if we can help you at all and get you a 5K for your house or for a bug out location, a cabin, this is a, a great solution. 